Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about this lithium ion battery pack that I put together in a previous series of videos. Uh, but anyway, I'm starting to have some issues with this. Uh, mainly this first set of cells here is being drained by something. I'm not sure if one of these has gone bad or what, but uh, I have also had an issue where this cable here came unsoldered and I had to take it apart and fix that. But if we take a look at the voltage, if we go across the entire thing here, the uh, voltage of the entire pack is about 9 volts. Voltage of this set of cells is 0 0.709. This one is 4.13, which is fine. And that one is 4.13, which is also fine. So this set of cells here, I'm not sure if there's something um, connected to it that's somehow draining it or if it's uh, one of these cells is bad or what. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, desolder all the cables that I have connected to this that go up to these connectors so I can remove this and I'll charge these cells back up even though they're below the minimum voltage uh, they should still be recoverable but I'm going to go ahead and unhook the uh, wires first alright so with this battery taken out of its box here uh, taking a look at it uh, I actually found something kind of interesting here on the uh, set of cells that isn't holding a charge properly there's a scorch mark on this battery here and there's also uh, a spot in the uh, insulation that looked like it got real hot and melted a hole through uh, so that's kind of interesting and you see there like where this tab was so like burn mark for some reason I'm not sure what that came from so it's kind of interesting but with this disconnector from the circuit I'm gonna go ahead and try to charge this up again and if that doesn't work I'll desolder the wires linking the cells together and narrow it down to you know one of these sets of four and if that doesn't work, or well, I mean, at that point we're just going to start cutting out the individual cells and seeing which one is bad. But uh, if that's even the problem, there could have been something else that's draining it, but I'm not real sure what. But of course all the circuitry has been disconnected from the box now. So uh, let me go ahead and set up a charger for these and uh, go ahead and see if I can't do something about this. All right, so relatively simple charging setup here. We've got uh, the cables going off into TP4056. That's just going across the uh, bad cells here, the ones that are dead. That plugs into this back here. Um, this is just one of these little USB power monitors. And one of the things that I thought was kind of impressive with the uh, these little TP4056 chips is that the things actually only push in 120 milliamps into that cells it's like it knows that they're uh, a lot lower than they're supposed to be so it's charging them really easy uh, not putting a whole lot of current through them and of course that just goes into a USB charger so anyhow uh, we're just gonna let this sit for a while uh, right now I think they're at like 0.9 volts Right now with the charger across the batteries, they're at about 0.9 volts, and they're at about 0.7 volts before we started charging, so uh, we're going to let these charge up, and uh, well, we'll see what happens. It's probably going to take a day or so to charge off of something like this, but uh, anyhow, I'll see you when it gets charged. Alright, so the set of batteries is charged. It's at about 4.12 volts, which uh, actually matches the rest of the cells. <clears throat> But now what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, unhook this and I'm going to go ahead and undo these two uh, pieces of wire that link the cells together, the sets of cells. And what that will do for me is to split the set of eight cells into a, or two sets of four cells. So if this cell or sets of cells drains and this one doesn't, then we'll know that we have a problem over here. So. Let me go ahead and 
uh, take these two bits of wire off. Probably only really need to take off one, but I'm going to do both of them anyway. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take a look at this and see. It's been sitting for a couple days now. Uh, but anyway, we'll check the voltage across the two sets of cells that we have now. We have 4.11 on this set and 3.78 on the second set. So we now have our bad cell narrowed down to four of them, which would be these four in the end here. And as I mentioned before, we do have this one cell that actually looks like it's damaged. So I'm going to go ahead and try to cut that one out and see if that one in itself will uh, continue to drain or if one of these other three cells will continue to drain. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cell out of there. All right, so this is the suspected bad cell. Uh, as you can see, that scorch mark. I'm not real sure what that's from though. That's the only thing I'm questioning because that was just sat up against the positive of the next battery wired in series. So not sh entirely sure what's happened to this. And there's also like a hole right here uh, as if this battery has gotten really hot at one point and it melted through that plastic uh, sheathing. So anyway, that's uh, the battery that I think is bad. It's at like 3.88 volts now. Uh, so we'll see if that one dies. I'm also charging up the other three cells that are left in that. I'm gonna charge this back up so it's at the same voltage. Um, but if this, the voltage of this cell doesn't uh, drop, then we'll know that it's actually one of the other ones anyway. So. Uh, it's at 3.88 right now, so we'll just uh, go ahead and wait another couple days. Alright, so it's been a couple days since I've looked at these last, so I'm going to go ahead and check out the voltages and see what's going on here. Uh, this cell that I thought was bad actually has 3.87 volts on it still. Uh, so that one's actually okay, that one looks physically damaged. And the rest of this pack is presumably a lower voltage. Yeah, 3.3 volts. So, one of these cells in here is actually the bad one. So, I guess I'm just going to cut apart the remaining three cells and see which one it is. Well, upon further inspection, I actually found this cell. And this one looks to be in much worse shape than the, uh, the first one that I thought was bad. This one's like got the plastic melted all the way around here and then looks like a scorch mark right in the middle of it. So... Uh, I've got a guess as to what has happened to these things, and that is <clears throat> they're only tied together in certain points uh, throughout the pack. And at one point, the wires that jumped the end of this pack to, well, like it, the wires that would jump this set of cells over to this set of cells became loose or it wasn't soldered on very well and it cracked off or I think maybe one of these tabs tore or something like that. Something happened to them. Uh, but what I'm guessing happened is that it was trying to find a connection with something else and something was scratched off somewhere and maybe it arced over right there and it made a really loose connection and then this got hot and that uh, sort of plastic stuff melted uh, but you would have expected me to notice if something was getting that hot but maybe just because it was only on the internal cells that happened um, I don't know one of these cells has gone bad not entirely sure which one we can check the voltage on this but chances are it's gonna be the same still and this has got a bunch of flux residue on it so it might not be that easy to get a voltage measurement too so 3.288, that might actually be lower already than the rest of these. Might not be either. Yeah, that one's 3.3, that one may actually be the bad cell. And that one's a 3.3 as well, so this one's already taking a dip in voltage. So this is probably the bad one. Um, there is also a chance that all this flux residue could actually be creating a bridge somewhere and all that's just uh, 
draining it as well. That's another possibility, but uh, uh, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see if this thing just goes completely flat or not, or if one of the other ones goes completely flat or not. Uh, so anyway, we'll wait another little while longer and run some more tests.